The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, better known as NOAA, debuted upgrades to the American weather model this morning. And Storm Team 2 meteorologist Carly Smith explains what those new changes mean for you. It's new on 5 on 2. Pleased to announce that we have uh, completed the implementation of the GFS version 16.0 today. This is the American weather model known as the Global Forecast System. It is one of many models Storm Team 2 can show on future track. Uh, these upgrades, which include doubling the vertical resolution in the model and, and fine tuning uh, the model's uh, physics algorithms. NOAA's supercomputers are processing several quadrillions of calculations per second. To figure out what's going to happen where you live or work, these equations need more than just surface observations. They're going to need data from the ground all the way up to well above the clouds. Now models will have twice as many levels throughout the atmosphere incorporated in the calculations. Improvements to the atmospheric physics will enhance the prediction of the tropical cyclones, extreme weather events, snow and precipitation. Research from NOAA's Environmental Modeling Center over the last two years concluded hurricane forecasts improved by 15 percent. Precipitation forecasts also improved by 15 percent five days out in advance. Uh, the new GFS uh, have actually predicted the arrival of this uh, significant weather event to Colorado, um, I think at least uh, 24 to 48 hours in advance compared to operational GFS, which was slow in the beginning. GFS 16.0 was made public at 8 a.m. and we are already integrating the upgraded model into our daily forecasts. For Storm Team 2, I'm meteorologist Carly Smith.